Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my review of X-Men Fantastic Four number two. I just want to say, how dare you? Uh, so this book was freaking awesome. Uh, yes, they do have the infographics. This is still the Hickman plant villain uh, era of the X-Men. But uh, I freaking... Uh, absolutely love this book so in the first one susan storm says what all of us say that the x-men are segregationist villains um they basically try to kidnap uh their son because they're like well you're he's a mutant so he belongs to us what is he going to be with you humans and they're like completely bigoted evil villains basically trying to kidnap someone's child uh so uh the Fantastic Four, you know, led by uh, Mama Bear, uh, Susan Storm, they fight back. Now, they end up stopping them, but then the kids run away because they're kids, and then we're off to the adventure. Um, funnily enough, the first issue totally would have worked as a one-shot. You know, just, this is, the, this is the book where people finally call out the X-Men for being the villains that they are. Um, so, that's probably the strangest... And most interesting thing about there's been lots of different, you know, comics where you know two groups of heroes fight against each other, and you're like, well, you know, these, you know, the mutant registration because this and well, but that, that, that. but no, it's like you have a normal like family, well, you know, with superpowers, but and then you have a bunch of segregationist supremacist villains. <laughs> I don't, I don't really see like. Where like where you're supposed to oh well you know uh, they, they do own the kid because uh, it's a mutant so uh, you know da, 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 da. so um, but uh, Susan is just so freaking awesome. So they're talking about how the daughter is not a mutant but the son is, um, and uh, she just she just puts them in their place. She's like, one's better than the other. Is that it? And he goes um Sue. Of my children, you value the life of Franklin over Valeria. My genius daughter wouldn't be allowed in your paradise compound because she's not pure enough for you, not mutant. You value her life less. All your actions make that perfectly clear. So tell me, Scott, why should we believe you? And all he can do is start is like, oh, I know. well, you know, uh, what does he say? Red lines are good. They mean people are being fed. He's just like, oh, oh, well, I mean, he's, you know, you know, he's really thinking, why is this, why is this thing talking to me? <laughs> like, like it thinks it's a person. Um, but then she crushes, uh, um, she crushes it. Well, she literally crushes the, the transceiver or whatever it is. I like how he's just like, damn, he's like, people keep thinking we're villains and Magneto's like, oh, really? That's great. Uh, <laughs> And uh, this is actually an awesome line. He, he's like, uh, Mag Magneto says, will this be a problem? And Cyclops says, yeah, Eric, it will. And then we get the little more infographics. I really don't like these infographics, but you know. Um, so I wouldn't, I don't know. Is Reed a cuck? Kind of. He's definitely not in charge. So she's like, Reed, you've heard them. You've witnessed their actions. They're a nation that thinks they're better than everyone. They're helping people for a price. Sabretooth has diplomatic immunity. Apocalypse is with them for... They're not the people we once knew. They're not heroes. That's it. That, no, that's, 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 that, that's the whole thesis. Yeah. So then she's basically like, hey, we're going to go get our kids. And uh, just everyone's... Uh, yeah, actually, Reed is kind of a cuck, but... He's like, you know, even Johnny's like, we're going to get the kids. This team isn't just you, Reed. We're a democracy, um, unlike Krakoa, I'd imagine. Got him. A little bit of thigh gap there. Everything's awesome. So this is Terry Dodson. Um, uh, and uh, I was just, every freaking panel is a composition freaking masterpiece. I'm going to have to skip some pages to appease the copyright gods. But um, I was just so pleased with every bit of this. They're, they're talking about the elephant in the room. They're doing interesting twists on the concept. Uh, people are more... Um, there's even this cool thing where, like, uh, 
Susan gets knocked out and they have these uh, suits that block telekinetic or telepathic attacks. So then he opens the faceplate because, of course, then uh, the evil white queen, you just say evil in front of all the mutants. And um, then she's like, oh, a mind to go into, which ends up opening her mind. And then he closes the faceplate. He goes, uh, I'm sorry, honey, but we really need an assist here. And you needed a psychic jumpstart. That is that is smart and cool and fun and just pretty much everything a villain or uh, uh, sorry. So many here, so many Marvel heroes are villains. I just said the word villain. Everything a Marvel comic should be. And then here's a uh, Wolverine trying to murder someone for retrieving their kid. Mind you, again, I need to go back out to the uh, full page view. You know what? Uh, you know why the X Men are attacking? Uh, because the uh, Fantastic Four are trying to leave. That's it. They have their child, and they're leaving the I island with their child. To which Nightcrawler punches Fantastic, or Mr. Fantastic. Cyclops shoots at uh, the thing. And lo look how in it to win it. Cyclops is like, I'll, be I'll, I'll beat these worms, these subhumans, these sub-mutants. I will beat them into the ground for retrieving their child. Yeah. Th they're beyond villains at this point, right? There's like not even a word for what they are. They're trying to effectively murder the Fantastic Four for retrieving their child because they think they own their child because the child is a mutant. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on here. You know, if this is the whole point of Jonathan Hickman's run, you'd think they would talk about it in his run. As far as I can tell, this is just the poorly managed Marvel where, I don't know, Chip Zdarsky is just... He's not slipping a puck past the goalie. He's slipping a freaking Yugo past the goalie. The X-Men are villains now. Full stop. Um, so it ends on a little uh, cliffhanger with Doctor Doom. And uh, I would say... Chip Zdarsky is very good at writing Doctor Doom. But he still comes across a little Femi now and then. If you remember the guy who played Doctor Doom in the movies from like 15 years ago... Do you remember when he, where he's like, well, I've always wanted power. Like, <laughs> he totally has that voice. Doom should not have, like, oh, he shouldn't have that voice. Um, but anyway, this is an awesome uh, comic. It is definitely recommended. Um, so go check it out. X-Men plus Fantastic Four for some reason. Eh, no, but then here's a slash. These things matter. They're very important to me. So what's, I think it's X-Men slash Fantastic Four. Um, so go check it out. And go check out The Expendables Go to Hell graphic novel. We just have like five days left in the initial campaign. So I kept saying I'm going to add the I'm gonna add the stretch goals and I have them, but I'm going to do it this morning. Uh, I was up late finishing the script for Assault on Castle Star, which is the tentative title of that jam project that me, Ethan Van Skyver, and John Malin are doing. I got to tell you, this script, it was like some Mighty Ducks sequel it really the last scene everything really came together what, what i'm saying is the, the the project was very difficult and I, I even tried to sub in a writer i was like can i hire someone to help and they're just like no you're writing it so i was like because i've got to mix together the jawbreakers which are basically super powered expendables cyber frog and salamandroid which are basically uh ninja turtles uh and then graveyard shift which are vampires, monsters, with a spaceship. And I had to all mix this together. And it had to be in 21 pages. And it also had to be, since we're each drawing seven pages, where nobody gets stuck with like an info dump. So man, I just worked and worked, and every time I thought I was done, I go, oh man, this section has all the exposition, so I need to put some more action, make it more visual. And then I realized, uh, you know, John's characters are mainly in the middle section. I mean, they get introduced in the middle section, but I have them drawn draw the first section, so I should do that one. And and then the ending, I mean, I actually found, and then, the, you know, I, in a recent video I said I dialed the stakes down. I actually dialed them down again. 
Um, and uh, it went from planet to country to city, but it, it makes it work. Eh, technically, it's region, um, <laughs> but it makes it it makes it more exciting for it to be, you know, still, it's still a city of more than a million people or a metroplex, but, um, I think you're going to love this. I, the funny thing is I always thought this as like this weird, goofy side project. I, it was like, I am, oh, we'll get it. We talk, we'll, we'll get to it. And then John's like, Hey, I, I need the script. Cause I got it. Cause he's going to be running the uh, campaign. So he's like, I need to get started on this. And I think he wants to do it in, in April or May. Um, I think this is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Um, yeah. It's, it, like I said, it's me, John Malin, Ethan Mad Skyver, with all of our characters in the same book. And um, yeah, I'm very, very excited for... Um, I'm not sure when we're going to launch. That's going to be uh, uh, John's, um, John's uh, ship to steer. But uh, it's going to be awesome. So anyway, go check out The Expendables Go to Hell. You're going to love that. we got some new color work here. I just got the Renzo Rodriguez uh, colored uh, cover, but my OCD is making me delay putting it up here. Um, but here we got the uh, Jason Johnson. We added that in the last few days, and now he's uh, or now the story that he drew is being colored in kind of like the same way as this uh, cover. So that's cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.